welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on 3D modeling a railway station in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's go into file, view image file. I have some of the references over here which I have downloaded. So we will go into this and let's start modeling. So very first of all, I will just take one reference at a time. So we will start with the modeling of this particular look of a railway station. We will start with a wall. So let us go into this. Let us take a plane. Let us just take a plane over here. Let us go into this. And how I can create this is like, I will go over here, I will take a cylinder. So first I will go over here, let us take a cylinder, select this polygons over here, I can increase the height segments if needed, convert to editable poly so i can just convert to editable poly also if needed you can go with this part as well if needed so i'll just convert to poly right click let's use a cut over here so once this is done select the polygons and let us delete this part, select the border and let us cap this, select this edges, control and backspace, select this polygon and let us extrude it down, I will just extrude this in this way. So I will just put this over here for now. Let us just keep it in this way, make the copies over here. Now what I can do over here is like, I can make some multiple copies over here. So let us select this, press shift and drag it, we can just drag this, let us make some copies in this way, select this, I will just extend it, and let us go over here, and let us give the attach option over here, select this, bridge it, <coughs> so let us just bridge this elements in this way, so select this whole thing and keep on bridging it. select the whole thing and just bridge it, alright, so let me save this once, Alright, so again go over here, select the polygons, if you need it, 
uh, I will just select this and clone to object. Later on if we uh, require this, we will keep it. So, I will just go over here, I will just hide this. So, again select this polygon over here and let us just bridge it. So, once the bridging is done over here, now we can just go up over here, select the polygons. select this, select this whole thing, ultimately we are going to select the whole thing excluding this, 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 this. So, select this all. exclude this and let us extrude this up over here. So, if you want to extrude it you can just slightly extrude it and let us scale it from the top. So, I can just uh, make it a bit straighter in this way. So, select the again, let us go into this polygons, I will scale it from one side, I will again slightly extrude it. Similarly, select this from one side and slightly extrude it select the polygons. So, let us select this <coughs> whole stuff. And you can give a bit of inset, very less. So, you want you can slightly give a bit of inset and extrude a bit inside. So, we can just extrude it a bit inside. So, let us save the file once again. So, let us go into this file view image file. We have some other references as well. So, if you go over here and see this, uh, we have continuous uh, flow over here for this will definitely create something over here later. So, you can see you have some kind of pillar stuff over here. So, let us go to the top view, select the vertices. So, select the So, we will just extrude it later before that. So, let us just drag it a bit behind. So, let us select this slightly just uh, push this a bit out. So, we do have this other reference over here. So, let us keep on putting some loops over here. So, I will just go over here. So, 
we can keep on putting some loops. So, select this edges, let us give two connects over here, slightly push it closer, click OK. Again, select this, let us give two connects, slightly push it closer. Again, let us give two connects, so I will just keep on putting the loops over here one by one. So, select this vertices, make it straight and if the top are not straight, select the top as well, only the top. right it is already straight. So, once it is done what I can do over here is like you can slightly pull that part out. So, we will just select the polygons slightly we will pull that particular part a bit out. select all this loops over here slightly, shuffle it out, I am sorry, so let us go into this view that would be much easier if we could have selected the side view. So, select this again, instead of the top view, we can utilize the side view and let us give a bit of inset very less and let us extrude it a bit inside and click OK. So, select the vertices again slightly shuffle it over here and let us go into modeling and let us put one swift loop over here like this. So, once you are done with this now what I will be doing is like I will go over here and select all this polygons. So, let us go to the side view and select this top polygons only the top hope only top is selected and let us extrude it up in this way. So, we can put uh, add something over here if needed. All right. So, guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. It's a long way to go, it's just a start. So, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So, we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So, thanks for watching this tutorial.